you guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to Femhead. Today we're gonna talk about a little refresh and reset for fall. So fall has already begun. I thought it'd be fun to share a little refresh, reset, what I'm kind of doing to prepare for the change in season. It's already slowly happening. We all hear about like spring cleaning and like clearing out the cobwebs, throwing up the windows, letting in some fresh air once winter's over. But I also think it's important before we head into winter, kind of like clear out and prepare, kind of like a little refresh before we head into that season because we all, no one wants to do things when it's cold. No one wants to have those like outside projects. So today I'm gonna share some goals I have and some to-dos I have. I made this list a while ago. I've already started working on it. Yeah, and I wanna know down below, what's your like to-do list for the fall to get ready for winter? So some goals I have, and these aren't necessarily related to like fall. I want to read more books. Now that Sweet Little Lincoln is sleeping through the night, I am able to have a better nighttime and morning routine. And part of my nighttime routine before going to bed is reading a couple pages of book or a couple chapters, depending on what I'm feeling like. It's so much better than scrolling through social media or just being online. And it's a good way to wind down and slow your brain down for bed. I have been reading books with the Kindle app on my iPad with books that I've checked out through my library. That may, that sounds really confusing. But anyways, I've been reading on my iPad to just save time not having to go to the library. And then if I hate a book, I don't have to be like, oh, it's such a process to go get a new one. I can just be like, nope, return, find a new one, call it a day. Get out of the meal and snack rut we've been in. I have already improved greatly on this. I wrote in my notes, can I plan out a month of meals? So something my sister did, and I talk about it somewhere, I don't remember, but my sister literally planned out an entire month of meals. And I was like, dear God, that's amazing. How did you do that? Like, that is genius. I hate meal planning. That is probably the worst part of like cooking for me, right behind cooking. But I was like, you know what? I usually, it's like, oh God, I need more groceries. Okay, like what do we want to eat next week? Michael, will you please come up with like one meal idea. What are we out of? It literally takes the same amount of time to plan a month of meals as it does a week of meals for me for my one time doing it. Just sit down with your calendar, figure out like when you're gonna be in town, out of town, if you have any engagements that mean you're not gonna be eating dinner at home and just plan out your meals. You're gonna repeat stuff anyways, and then you can just slide it in. And it's just been so easy to be like, oh yep, I need to do a grocery order. What meals do I have planned out for the next week? Oh, here they are. Put those ingredients in. Another thing is to update my master to-do list for the house and anything I wanna get done before it gets cold. I created a master to-do list and I broke it into categories categories of like daily, weekly, monthly, every three months, every six months, once a year, and then just like one-time projects, I believe is how I broke it up. And I just went through every area of my home. I can put the reoccurring things into my Google Calendar so I get little notifications, or I can like put in, okay, I know I want to reorganize the shed before it gets cold out. I'm gonna make Michael do it. Or I want to clean out the garage before it gets cold out. I'll probably do that one, that sort of thing. And then I said, start my early morning routine again, as well as my nighttime routine. Already done that one, checked it off. I wake up at 5 a.m. most mornings and have some time to myself before the boys wake up and then have a wind down routine before going to bed, which then helps with my morning routine. And oh, it's the best thing. It's the best thing. I love having an early morning routine. And then some to do's to weed, weed, weed. Dear God, there are so many weeds. Um, we didn't do a garden this year, but our garden space is has grown weeds that needs to get weeded. I've already weeded it once this year, like one and a half times, but I need to weed that, I need to weed the backyard, and then I need to weed the front yard, which I already did. We have like a fence trellis situation into our backyard that has vines on, and you have to pull all the vines down before it gets cold. And you have to cut down like all of your, your hostas and that sort of stuff. So I need to trim all that back. Like there's a lot of like gardening, landscaping related things that need to happen. Declutter the garage, I have that. Just put everything in your place. Like I love that I'm able to park my garage, my car in the garage in the winter, but I'm gonna want some space. So that's just like, we have some recycling, we have some wood in there. Like I have some chairs that I need to go to my younger brother. So I wanna get that just cleared out before it gets cold because we don't wanna do things outside when it's cold, or at least I don't. Declutter our shed in our backyard. Like I said, I really want Michael to do that. I would love if you do that. It's just like, that's where we keep like tools and that sort of stuff and like bikes, the burly. And I just want that to get like tidied up, you know? And then it's ready for projects in the spring. I need to get pest control to come and deal with our freaking window spiders and we have wasps. So we have spiders and wasps and I've been saying for like two years now, you can ask my best friend. And she's like, I am going to get you pest control for <laughs> a gift. 
But yeah, we have spiders and I just, I want pest control to come do it because I don't want to do it. So that's on my to-do list. Sitting down and just thinking through like what needs to happen before snow happens. And you know, once leaves start falling, I'll add like rake up leaves to the list. Um, I'm sure there's so many other things. Bring in the patio furniture. I want to like finish painting the pergola. I want to stain her back. There's so many things I want to do. I have like different household, like I like to work through the house in rooms. And so it's like, okay, we're going to declutter and deep clean this room. We're going to declutter and deep clean this room. And then you can enjoy for the winter and then enjoy summer. Anyways, that's my little reset refresh for the fall. I'll link the PDF down below if you want to do more of a reset refresh your life it's good and that's what i have to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye